So we didn't give you the definition of affordability for housing. And basically the idea here is that AMI is going to be average median income for the entire area. And you can see the top row, that's going to tell you the various places where you might be on your scale of household income. And it is household income. What we've got here are sales in Dutchtown in the last year that fall within HUD's definition of affordability. And calculated into that is average taxes, average bills for utilities, uh, as well as PMI insurance, because many people might need private mortgage insurance with whatever product that they're using. And what you see is that Dutchtown does have affordability options. True, it's going to be really hard to buy a home if you're sitting at below 30% AMI. But if you're at 31% to 50%, and they're sort of shaded for where that falls on the scale, because that's 20% is kind of a big gamut there in terms of uh, your household income. You have options here of houses that have recently sold that fit with that. Um, and we're going to share these slides so you can look at them. Um, but all of these houses, except for the three bedroom, um, I think under 31 to 50% AMI, were either mostly renovated or fully renovated. And so we're not talking about distressed properties here. We're talking about turnkey properties, properties that, yeah, you may, you may have to do some work to them, but it's not a full gut rehab type working situation. Um, and so, Nick, why don't you just kind of, you can flip through and see some of them. Um, oh. <clears throat> Here you go. What I think is great about Dutchtown is that, you know, some of these on the higher scale of 80% may exist in other neighborhoods for smaller houses. If you have a family, you can still get an affordable three or four bedroom home in Dutchtown right now. And I, I'm, there are very few places in the city that I think that you can do that with the quality of home that's available in this neighborhood. Um, okay, so opportunities for buyers. Um, there are a ton of resources out there. We did our research and we couldn't even get them all up here. Um, and so I, I guess I want to talk a little bit about if, if I was in the position of a first time home buyer, what would I want to do? The first thing I want to do is I want to check on my credit and see where I'm at with the lender probably. Uh, and so, are we, can we skip ahead to the... Mm -hmm. So we've got some great local options for that. Um, one is Thomas Dunn Learning Center. They do Money Mondays where they bring in a financial coach. Uh, this is just at Marquette Park. It's totally free. Great opportunity to do that. But someone who uh, does this for a living, Robert Nelson with Prosperity Connection. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just saw the logo. I haven't met Robert yet. <laughs> Robert can tell you a little bit more about what Prosperity Connection does in relation to this. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.